Hi, my name is Kevin Reen. I'm the Vice President and General Manager at Crownline Boats. And we're here today to do a product walkthrough video on our 255SS. This exciting boat has been our number one seller for the last three years, and we're excited about telling you why. Let's get started. Just by the way of background, let's get started by running through a few of the specs on this exciting boat. The LOA on this boat is 25 foot 8 inches. The beam is 8 foot 6. The dead rise is 19. The forward angle at the bow is 39, and that's really the angle that cuts the wave when you're at lower speeds. The overall weight of this boat is 54 to 5,600 pounds, by far the biggest and deepest boat in its class, bar none. Let's take a quick run through through the bow. Looking at the bow, again, as I mentioned, one of the things you notice is just how deep this bow of the boat is. In the very forward portion of the, of the boat, we have a conveniently located 36 quart carry-on cooler. So once it's stowed, you can easily access it and it's out of the way. The cushion securely fits back in place so you don't have to worry about the cushion flying out when the boat's under power. The neat thing about our bow that sets us apart from the competition is our 16 degree lean back that's tooled in a hot tub style seating configuration. It takes the, the, the weight off of the lower part of the body and you can feel yourself melting into the bow of this boat. The extra comfort and convenience feature is the flip up armrest. When locked in place, really allows the boater in the front of the boat to enjoy the ride no matter where you go on either smooth or rough water. One of the last things to talk about here is that the tooled in recess into the bow of this boat, if you purchase the optional bow filler cushions, turns this entire portion of the boat into a sun lounge. Very relaxing for people that like to enjoy the sun. Lastly, underneath the lean backs are huge storage compartments on both sides of the boat. And you'll see when looking inside there, the gray, the gray material that's sprayed into those uh, storage areas. In every one of our storage areas, Crownline uses an exclusive Rhino liner material. It's like a spray and bed liner. The neat thing about that material, it's non-marring, but most importantly, it's mold and mildew resistant. So if you ever throw wet towels or wet clothing into that storage area, you don't have to worry about them getting moldy. So it also seals and dries watertight, so it helps to seal the integrity of the boat. That's on the forward portion on this side. On the driver's side, the storage area is even deeper and recesses back all the way under the, uh, the driver's helm for increased storage area for large floating items, uh, water materials, life preservers, things of that nature. Moving to the, to the back to the cockpit, I also want to note the conveniently located fender storage in the forward portion of the bow. It allows you to take the fenders from the side of the boat and store them into a netting area so easy access and easy storage area so they're out of the way and not taking up floor space in your boat. Last thing I'd like to point out is some of the sophistication in the design. You'll see this large tall ridge going around the headrests on the boat. That's designed for water damming. It improves the seal of the bow canvas, but also directs water away from the boat, and you can see the drain channel for the water to exit on the outside of the boat. Moving into the cockpit, you go through a large windshield with a stainless steel windshield header and locks into a stainless steel windshield lock. It's a great feature to secure the windshield into position, which is really important. You have to worry about the windshield slamming shut if you hit a wave or rough water particularly important if you have small children on the boat. Coming back into the cockpit, again, what you'll see is some sports car styling at the helm. And what we have here is a hand-wrapped double stitch brow that shades two five-inch gauges with stainless steel bezels, a depth sounder with outside air and water temperature, a trim gauge, and then your helm station controls with toggle switches. Also standard on the 255 is the Raymarine A65 touchscreen. It also comes with the gateway cable which provides engine information and fuel flow. Next, when you talk about your shifter, one of the things that uh, Crownline does that I'm not aware of anybody else doing is that we use premium throttle and shift cables. The most expensive throttle and shift cables on the market guaranteed not to kink or bind. We also use premium rack and pinion steering with tilt wheels. Most of our competition uses rotary steering. Why is this important? Because again, you get the sports car feel, sports car handling of rack and pinion steering versus that of rotary steering in a lot of our competitors. Your bucket and passenger helm seats are both what we call suspension bucket seats. They have shock absorbing seat bases with flip up bolsters on both the passenger and driver side. Also, they have a stainless steel accent and logo on the back to really set off the overall design of the bucket seat. Before we move over to the head compartment, let's talk about two more features in the transition area between the bow and the cockpit. Feature number one is the flush mount 
walk-through doors that lock in place so that if you're out there on the water on a cool day, you can lock these, bow, uh, these flush mount bow doors in place and close off the cockpit from the cold air. The second is another access panel here that allows additional storage, but there's a conveniently located trash can right there. As we move over to the head compartment, one of the things you notice too is that we design in both an accent piece but also a, a padded mat so that if you're sitting in this area and never hit a wave, you also have additional padding in place to protect uh, our boaters. As you open up the head compartment, you'll notice just how deep our head compartment is. Also has cabinetry, a hard top sink, opening port light, and porta potty. But again, it's the most important feature is when you step down, there's a non skid mat and a, a floor drain to allow you to do this. Just for reference, I'm 6'1, 200 pounds, and our head compartments are very easy to get in and use. Moving back to the cockpit of the boat, again, one of the things you'll notice is just how deep and how roomy this overall cockpit is. Comfortable seating for eight adults. And the neat thing about this is the recline angle in the rear of this seating arrangement is exactly similar to that of the bow. It's a 16 degree recline angle. So we encourage you to, just to sit in the boat and see how comfortable and enjoyable it is to sit and enjoy time in this cockpit. The neat thing about the cockpit of the boat is that there's two special features in both the port and starboard storage. Behind the driver, you have an insulated tub, and you can fill that with ice and drinks and food. It's self-draining to the bilge. So this is a neat place to carry uh, food items or drink items or anything you want to bring onto the boat. On the other side, you have another similar oversized storage area. Both of these lids, by the way, are on piano hinges with stainless steel shocks. But what I want to represent here is just how deep this storage area is. If I step down into it, you'll see it's more than three feet deep and spans this entire area. So this is a great place to store large bulkier items. Maybe your standard bow and copy canvas gets stored in here when it's not in use. It's totally up to you. But the neat thing about this as well is that this boat, our 255, comes standard with a dual battery switch. And that dual battery panel is located right here. And it also comes with quick charging ports. And what does that mean? This boat has an electric engine hatch. So if you would ever be on the water and for some reason run your starting battery down or even run your secondary battery down, if you have a portable charging uh, carry, uh, carry charge, you can connect it to the charge ports and allow access to your engine compartment. It's a neat feature. We think about one of the what ifs that might happen on the water and how to protect our boaters and our customers. Moving from the cockpit to the rear of the boat, what we're going to talk about now is our social swim seating. It's a trademark name. And this boat was the first one to come forward with the social swim transom design. So let's talk about that. What you'll notice is all of our filler cushions that complete the U-wrap seating and also this rumble seat, like we like to call it in the back, are standard in the boat. To be honest with you, this design really came from when my wife and I spent time on the water and we, and we had our three boys splashing around and then we would get in the water with them. They decided they wanted to change the stereo or get a drink or other boats came and tied up and we had to access the fenders. That's where that social swim transom design came from and was first to the market in this 255. The other neat thing about our boats is that we use a four step stainless steel telescoping ladder. You can see how clearly it drops deep into the water and allows both children and older folks to easily enter and access the boat. What happens is when you're at a boat show or when you're at a showroom or even on the trailer, the boat's stagnant. But the truth of the matter is when you're on the water, the boat's always moving around. And sometimes it can be tricky to get in and out of the boat safely. So we've designed uh, these deep four-step boarding ladders, a tooled-in handle onto the, onto the ladder assembly itself, and then we've designed in two 15-inch stainless steel handles so that as you're moving and transitioning from the water back to the boat, you can always have something to grab and hold onto so you can do it safely. The other thing to point out too is that we use standard pull-up cleats. We were the first in the industry dating back to the early 90s to always use fully recessed cleats. We understand um, the safety hazards that can be associated with fixed position cleats. That's why we don't have them on any of our products. Fingers, toes, even shoelaces can easily get caught on fixed position cleats. So when we uh, design our boats and your cleats are not being used, they're able to be pushed fully recessed out of the way so you don't have to worry about trip hazards. The other neat standard feature is the transom shower. It's got a 15 gallon water reserve and allows you to hose off. Uh, again, if you're full of sand or dirt from being in the water all day, you can easily access uh, the transom shower and hose off that dirt before you even enter the boat to help keep your cockpit clean. Lastly, you'll notice before I mentioned about the splash, splash proof wet sound speakers. 
There's eight of those standard on this particular boat. Two in the bow, two in the cockpit, two in the rear cockpit, two off the transom. And stainless steel cup holders located here, so if you're enjoying a beverage sitting in the back, you can uh, access those. Lastly, over here, you'll notice the LCD transom remote. So this is also part of that social swim transom lifestyle that allows you to control all the entertainment, all of the, the audio and your stereo system right here from an LCD transom remote. Last thing I'd like to talk about on the outside of this boat, if you look under our deck vents, we have stainless steel air intakes and also the stainless steel vent closeouts. We don't use plastic and we don't use chrome over plastic. We only use 304 stainless on all of our air intakes and vent closeouts because that's what Crown Line stands for. We don't cut corners, we don't try to skimp, we try to build boats the right way the very first time. So we're excited about this 255, really hope you will be as well. Please contact your local dealer, find out more about this exciting 255 SS.